What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so guys, uh, the new custom tactics for you guys to climb up uh, the rivals uh, divisions. Uh, so if you're a player like rank 6, 7 or even lower than that, this form should be, could get you up, up, up to like uh, rank 3 or 2. Um, uh, let's get into it. So guys, uh, the formation for 2, 3, 1 wide variation. Guys, I want you to listen carefully. There are uh, really, uh, I've got some really good details for you guys, especially with the players. Let's uh, go for the team tactics first. Um, 4, 2, 3, 1 wide variation, build up style, counter, um, defensive approach. I'm going for high. So uh, for the counter, for this formation, guys, uh, short passing. If you go for a short passing, that's just going to, you know, uh, delay everything. You know, it's just going to slow down the team, uh, you know, while attacking the transition of defense to attack. That's just going to, you know, get slowed down. If you have a short passing um, for the balance, balance is good. But uh, if you really want to, you can go with balance. But if you really want to use the um, kind of... Uh, the power of attacking this formation kind of use all of its force and put pressure on your opponent you want to go with counter because the transition of tra defend to attack is just a lot quicker if you can't really you know play this way you can certainly go with balance but i recommend a counter for the defensive approach guys i put this on 70 if that's too much for you, you can start with like 55 uh, okay up to like 60 okay don't go below go don't go like 50 okay that's just gonna be like the defensive one. i don't want this formation to be a defensive one because it's already good in terms of defending you want the formation to have good attack you want to attack with this formation you want to score goals with this formation so i i start with like 70 good that's a good spot for me you can go i would say start with 50 to like 60 then go all the way up but that's a good starting point. So this is for the team tactic for the players, guys. Um, for your striker, um, if you have a striker that has a poacher, poacher plus, uh, go for that one, okay? Because that play just gonna be just gonna be inside um, the penalty area all the time and making those runs behind the defense. I know it's a poacher, guys, but this uh, guys trust me. If you put this on poacher you see you find your circle making those runs kind of getting behind if i'm you know i want to compare it to the last year's tactics if you put this on poacher uh so a play that has a plus and that could be a really good one but if not i would say advanced forward forget the tar target part forward or you know false nine i would say the best one uh, is poacher if not advanced forward you know, is is really good um uh, advanced forward plus so you can see this, you can find this player, you can see the hit map, it's just going to be around here, mostly here, you can find her here, a little bit behind the penalty area too, you can see here, but uh, overall I would say um, uh, if you have a poacher that's good, uh, if, if not, a dance world plus is on the call, and of course the focus um, uh, here is on uh, attack with her complete you can see you can find her down the wing who you don't want your striker to go down the wing and if you look at the like the pros and cons here like you can see here okay it's just limited width that's exactly what we want for uh, your striker okay that's actually a good one okay limited width we don't want high width for for our striker we don't want to be in this line okay and this this is where we want our striker to be so limited width, that's actually a good one. I don't see it as a, you know, like a cons, like a pros and cons. I don't see limited width as a cons, at least for this formation. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the next player, your cam, guys. Um, so I have Dibinia here, okay, guys. Uh, if you have a cam that has a uh, Shadow Striker Plus, awesome, go for that one. If that, for that player has a Shadow Striker Plus Plus, I'll certainly go, that, go for that one because, because if you put this on a uh, shadow striker uh, you can see you could find her mostly around the penalty, penalty area also a little bit down you know on the side of the penalty area but it's going to be mostly around that which is exactly what we want this to be compared to the like last year 4 2 3 one 
Uh, it's going to be a real replica of that. Even a little bit of 4 3 2 1, you could say, to this uh, this formation, you could still have more player inside the penalty area. But if not, if the player you're using, like mine, doesn't have a Shadow Striker Plus, put that play on Playmaker, Playmaker Plus, because you could find a little bit backward. It's like a balanced one. You could go with roaming, never go for the roaming, guys. You can see, you can find there a lot of spaces. You can find it here, here. You don't want to play. You want to play to in, like a middle behind the penalty area and just ready either to take the shot or pass to the striker and just, you know, uh, going for the chance to score goals. So balance this one, playmaker plus. If your cam has a half winger plus plus, even if a plus plus like mine, because the video has a never go for that, okay? If you go for half winger, you you be like, okay, my cam has a half winger plus plus, so I have to put a player on that. But look what happens. This is without ball. Look, look what happens. This is with ball. Look where Dibinia is. Dibinia is here. Okay, guys, this is where Dibinia is. You want it to be here, not here. Okay, not here. You want it to be here. Or you, you couldn't find it around here. No, you don't want that. That's not a winger. Okay, you want it to be in the middle and finding the attack. That's how it's going to be the best possible option. Of course, uh, as I said, Shadow Striker, if you have that one, go for Shadow Striker. If not, make sure you make sure you have someone that has a Playmaker Plus. If your player doesn't have any like preference, like neither a Playmaker Plus nor a half, uh, sorry, Shadow Striker Plus, just go for Shadow Striker. I recommend have someone that has either a Shadow Striker Plus or a Playmaker Plus. Trust me, guys, these pluses, okay, they make a huge difference. It's like, especially in this position where you just want to, you know, kind of like attacking positions. That really makes a huge difference in terms of positioning, first of all. Also, we're all say just uh, the player will just play a lot better. But first thing, positioning is the main thing. If so, this player has a playmaker plus, the Vina is going to be so good as a camp, you know, playing this role. Uh, she has the ball, she passes to the left by Raman, Raman now, and also my striker. She can take the shot. She's very well, a good player here. Um, for the uh, Lamb, you could say, I would say I call it lamb because this is here, it's left in a right mid. But I say that lamb. Why? Because I have this player on inside forward. Okay, inside forward plus. Make sure you have someone, guys. I'm not, I'm, I'm serious about this. If you have someone that doesn't have inside forward plus, forget about her. Okay, or him. In my case, it's a you know women card. I have John Amezaga. If I'm saying it right. Uh, she's a, a squad uh, foundation objective player, very good player. Uh, she has inside forward plus. Certainly go for someone that has a center uh, inside forward plus. Um, and also focus. Um, you could go with, I would say, balance. Uh, I would say a sort of attack, but balance if that was too much. I'll explain in a couple of seconds. But I'm going to tell you why go for the inside forward because look guys if you go for the inside forward this is with ball okay without the ball forget without the ball okay with the ball she's gonna be mostly around here okay this is the penalty area okay this is the penalty area she's gonna be mostly around here kind of like a lamb and ram guys in uh, fc24 and why i say it's kind of similar to the 4321 guys because remember guys 4321 had your your center forward okay Center forward here and center forward here. And these three players, they were, they were all like striker. Center forward, striker, the same. Uh, kind of makes it like a center forward here. He's, this player, they aren't going to be so much down the wing if you put this on this uh, inside forward. You want this player to be around the penalty area, not so much down the wing, around the penalty area or even inside the penalty area. The reason I'm saying uh, you can, you should go with. Uh, attack here guys uh, if you put this on balance guys it's kind of uh like put this player as opposed to last year's four two three one it's like putting this player on comeback on defense okay remember comeback on defense if you put a player on comeback on defense your lamb and ram those players they were gonna be like playing here okay they would this is the halfway line they will play like this is like the furthest they would come Okay, this is like a middle line, they would play around, and like the furthest uh, they would go, it was just this here, they would go any further than this, okay? 
they will stay here mostly and then they will attack you here with some ballot it's like putting this on combat on defense okay but if you put this on attack which is ideal one i would say uh put some attack it's just gonna be like even better than last year's four two three one uh which was your love ram and love this player is gonna be more inside it's like it's like say you have this player on balance and getting for uh, sorry getting to the box okay it's like if you have this on inside forward and attack it's like having this forward both on like a balanced one not necessarily a safe forward a little bit more balanced and also get into the box okay so it's a forward plus that's why i say it's so important to have a player that has a inside forward plus okay you want to get into the box thing okay you don't have to get into the box here but if you have no inside forward you could literally you could vividly see that inside your game that you have okay my lamb and brown they come inside the penalty area a lot more you can find them there a lot more as opposed to putting this play like on like wide midfielder or like wide uh, playmaker or the winger as you can see this wide playmaker um wide midfielder midfielder probably the worst for this one is like wide midfielder you don't want it to be here um like it's really has winger plus that you say okay i should go with winger plus right no guys if you put her on winger plus she's look you want to attack you're gonna find her here. She's not gonna come here, okay? You will find her here. You will find her here. Dibinia, she wants to pass about to her, but she's not here. She's here, okay? You want her to be around this area. So, everything, um, I don't care what like, play you're using. Um, guys, your lamb, here, left and rabbit, they must have a um, inside plus. Uh, at least still you know, it's a forward plus uh if it's a plus plus that's a lot better uh for the balance i would say attack is if you want you really want to use the like the attacking side of this formation if you really want to attack go for the attack as a focus it's gonna make a lot uh, you know a lot different but if, if that's too much i would say start with balance then go for attack for your ram uh same here i have um rodman here she is such a good um right mid and also you know uh, play for this formation because uh, uh, she's got you know, inside forward. It's really good, you can see for the inside forward. Plus, plus, she's gonna be a lot more. She's gonna attack. I, I attack a lot more with Rotman as opposed to, to that player because that's a plus plus guy. Plus, plus, it really does make a difference here. Um, and of course, for the attack, I'm going with uh, for the focus, I'm going with attack here. So that's for the Ram and Lamb. Um, so basically, with the ball. That's how it's this is without the ball with the ball you can see there's a line here it's like this is like this is gonna be the one you're attacking with okay imagine this player uh dibinia uh, that was uh, like my uh, if that player was on um uh, shadow striker so that's just what this would be okay this would be the ideal one shadow striker you could see this player coming forward coming forward this is She's gonna be around here, mostly behind the penalty area, not here. You could certainly find her here. For example, De Palma said to be has the ball. She wants to pass the ball here. You would find uh Dibina here, okay, like like front of center of the pitch. But you want her to be here, you want her to be more attacky, but that's okay. Uh so I would say attacking with this is just gonna be so good when you wanna attack. Uh, with this line like four plays going forward that's just so good um uh, for the cdms guys um first of all my two cdm they have holding plus so i'm just going to use a holding plus uh second of all, i would say holding plus uh is the best one i certainly wouldn't go with center half we can put this play on center half look what happens look this is without the ball. This is with the ball. Look where my center CDM is. It's gonna be she's like around here. You don't want her. Why would he would you want her to be? Maybe it's like minute 80, you want to be too defensive. Yeah, go and do that. But ideally, of course not. You don't want that to player, you know, to be playing there. Uh, for the deep line playmaker, guys, honestly, I didn't um I didn't really um notice much difference to be honest um i mean i defend that my cdm wasn't really participating for attack maybe that's just i tried different plays with deep light and make it plus uh, but i would say 
Uh, for now, I would say having to play, having to CD because this is uh, relatively you on this. This would be like attacking for the shit. You have all these your lamb and bam and also camel to strike a little bit forward here. Uh, what you want the two CDM to stay, kind of stay back, kind of like stay back all attacking guys, uh, and also you know uh, cover the area, avoiding those counter attacks. And so obviously, deploying playmaker. Um, unless you have a really good CDM, I would say maybe like a Yara Torre, that's a good one. I don't know, I don't know if Yara Torre has a Deploy Maker. Plus, I, I don't know if it's a stat, just um, you know, saying by how he has always been in that position. One of the, I would say one of the best CDM inside the game. Um, I would do like FC25, I mean, haven't really tried him in FC25. But I would say um, go for holding, of course, defense. If we just start roaming, you can see, you find a left back, right back, that's just not what you want. I I recommend putting these two, both of these two, on the holding plus and also defense. Um, that's just more, I would say, kind of guarantees your back line. You have two CM. But if you thought that was too much, you could put one of these players, okay, one of these players, the one that's more agile, maybe the one that has a plus in that role, I would say go for a deep line playmaker for that formation. But deep line playmaker, again, you find a, you find a player a little bit backward rather than going forward. Uh, as you can see here, you can find her mostly here, but she's going to be around here too. Um, but I, I don't really, I didn't like it. To be honest, um, so I would say holding plus focus for the defense, both of the CDM. Um, for the left back, for your left back, guys, I have my left back here. As you can see, it doesn't have a plus the full back. The ideal one for left back is for full back plus would be good. Uh, as well as focus, uh, you want to go with um, balance defense. You look what happens when you have the ball. Look, it's going to be like next to my center back if that's just how it's gonna be you don't want it okay that's gonna be three at the back because my right back is on wing back plus so we three at the back that's your now what you want you want for the regular left back and also you know for the full back defense I'm not really gonna um like attack with my left back uh even if my left back had like a attacking wing back something because um uh for the left back uh, he does have falls back uh, plus, I'm not gonna use that because you follow fall back. Look where would you be? You'd be like next to my CDM. You don't want that. I want to cover the wing. Uh, so I would say try this thing that I'm telling you guys. The one that you want to defend with, put that one play on full back and balance. Okay. The one that's you want to kind of attack with, I would say if that player has a wing back plus, that's gonna make a huge difference. Because let's say for example. Uh, Labanta, my play, my CDM, she has the ball. You're kind of moving around this this area. You have the ball here and um, here. You can see that's just what's gonna happen, okay? With the ball. Trinity Rodman, she's gonna be mostly around here. Not so much down the wing, not so much in the middle. I would say here. That's where you wanna find this player. Um, if you have your right back, as a wing back, uh, in this case, Molina has a wing back plus. Uh, you could certainly, you could see, suddenly see that this player, okay, this player is going forward, has all the spaces. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, just, I'm just gonna use them, especially if you trigger her forward manually with the left, with your um, LB button L1. You know, she is that player is just gonna forward. That's gonna, that's just gonna make a huge uh, opportunity for you going behind the line. If that play has a wing back plus, okay. If not, I don't really recommend it. She's not, he's not gonna be good on going forward. I'm also gonna be like lazy and going backward, like right? back to his original position here. But I would say, uh, so for your left back, I would say going for the full back balance. I feel right back, I would say wing back plus and also balance. Uh, for the if you don't want to attack with your right back. If you have a left back here, I would say go ahead and switch this, okay? Your right back and full back, um, full back like this, okay? Uh, balance and your left back on uh, wing back, okay? Why not? I don't recommend going with attacking wing back, even if that player has a plus plus. Why? Look, 
the tiger wing back display is going to be here okay look at all these spaces look at all these free empty spaces you don't want that okay May, you certainly can, can get counter attack guys uh so i would say do not go for that if that you have a formation like a maybe like a like a five at the i would say like five at the back okay if you have five at the back for um formation uh you have three defenders here your right back and left back they could just go back and forth yeah taking the back would be good uh, but here uh i don't really recommend that you're just gonna you know get counter attack that it's just gonna be so much empty spaces for your opponents so i would say guys uh the one that you're attacking with uh okay the one you're um defend with go for full back balance the one you want to attack with uh, you can put this one on full back and balance too okay i'm just giving you an option to attack better okay and because this player has a wing back and it has his name on it, it's a wing back, okay? It's not really attacking full back, like going all the way. You can see his display is going to be mostly here, okay? But if you put this on, if you put this on um, your wing back plus, this player is going to be here, a little bit here if you drag it forward here. But mostly in this play, you can just simply get it back, get this play back and just defend, okay? Uh, it's a safer option. Uh, for this formation especially so wing back plus for the one you're attacking with with uh, also the left back which is my defensive one to full back and balance for your center backs guys um i would say whichever one that has a plus because so here otamendi has stopper plus i'm going with the stuff if you had uh like defender obviously with the defender obviously you, you don't want to do anything much other than defending from your center back, right? Um, ball play def defender. Uh, I just, I don't see a point, okay? I don't really want to, like, you don't want this player to be here, or you just want to be here, okay? That's mainly where you want this player to be. That's just gonna be like unnecessary, even if the player has a like, plus plus in it. And honestly, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Just going out of position makes the player to go out of position. So I would say, ideal defender. If not, if it, a player has a stopper, that's good. Okay. Uh, if you were like the thing with the stopper is that that player just gonna rush towards uh, your opponent's striker, you might find some empty space behind the center back. That's why I say ideally go for defender if that player has a defender um, plus or the plus plus. Also the defense, uh, the focus certainly go for defense. Okay. No, no, no balance. You just want the player to be a defense. Okay. Not anything more than that. And uh, if that, go for the stopper plus. If that player has a one, I don't recommend go for ball play defender. Same goes for your right uh, center back. Um, I have Carrigan here. Really good defender. I wish he was a little bit more, you know, faster, but again, um, really good. Decent on air, not great, but good on air. It's overall really good one. Also plays a left back and right back. The plays really well, both as a left back and right back, also center back, uh, especially defensively. So he has a defender plus plus, of course, we're going to use him in that position. Also for the focus, we're going with um, defense here. Um, of course, here, because it's a stopper, we're going for the, you know, the balance is the only one we have here. Um, for the goalkeeper, guys, whichever role that your goalkeeper has a plus in. Okay, so here I have Alisa now her. Uh, again, if I'm saying the right now her, okay. Um, goalkeeper plus, that's what she has. I mean, could use her as a goalkeeper plus. Super keeper, super keeper plus. If she had that, I would choose super keeper plus. To be honest. Doesn't make much of a difference if you put it's just like last year, but it doesn't really make much of a difference here yeah, unless you know you just um I would say like really um uh like a, the advanced you will play like with an advanced play and you really really you really know what you're doing, like controlling your goalkeeper and everything, with your defender. Um otherwise, uh again, they just don't make it. Whichever one that has a plus with, it's okay. Uh, for the focus, of course, you don't want to be balanced, okay? You maybe you find her going out of line, you can find her here, you can go for a chip here, yeah, 
you don't want that okay if you want to go for just uh, you know bring your phone manually by use by holding the you know triangle button uh, i would say defend is certainly uh the ideal one here so um yeah that was it guys for the formation and also for the players of 4231 wide variation certainly give it a try you can certainly climb up the division rivals ranks again if you like rank 10 like 9 7 8, whatever you can certainly go all the way to like rank 3 2 here i must have got to rank uh, uh three uh, all the way to go to you know like uh, again i haven't really played much haven't really got enough time to play this, like a lot uh that's why i'm still like like rank two but i'm almost like a couple minutes away from rank two um i know that i could get there easy before rank two and above uh i don't know i have to try that one but i would say from those guys obviously for the majority of you guys uh this best formation is like perfect formation for like uh both having a defense good defense line good attacking and also overall really good um that's just how 4-2-3-1 has always been it's one of the best formation one of the most balanced one that can also you know um have you know really help you into the fourth attacking and also defending um uh, anyway that was it guys hope you guys like this video um i am hope i wasn't too talkative guys i just tried to say, tell you guys everything that was needed to say if you have any question certainly comment down below i will definitely try i will definitely answer that and if you have want me to try other formation i'm going to be you know posting other formation i'm just trying different trying different things guys for testing different things with like um different um rivals uh ranks i'm just trying uh, different things but if you want me to really uh, like you're really looking forward for like for a formation let's just say like uh, like a five at the back uh, or whatever certainly comment down below i'll try that for me and certainly have a video about that one um that was it guys uh i try to have a video every single day on my channel make sure you subscribe so you won't miss the new one and i'll come to the next time see you guys later <music>